What's up, everybody? It's your favorite poor standing figures favorite nerd, and today we are talking about the second half of the X-Men Juggernaut Build-A-Figure Wave. So we're just going to get right into it. And up first is Mr. Cable, and he's fairly well done for the most part. The accessories are kind of one of the things that plagues him. Uh, this this gun right here, he holds like a champ, I must say. Like the, the trigger finger hand fits in there perfectly. It's a blue plastic. So some of the uh, the skin tone didn't cover all the blue, but for the most part, it's pretty well done. Looks good. I like the uh, 90s Rob Liefeld-esque kind of situation. Uh, the bullets are an extra accessory, and they plug into the bottom of the gun here, but, you, but they come both... Uh, they, they still fit in just fine, so that's no big deal. But they both come with the, the last bullet, at least mine did, uh, bent. Um, you know, some hot water will probably clear that right up, but still, just kind of frustrating. This gun, on the other hand, while cool, I can't get it to really fit. Oh, there it is. All right. I've got it now. It just took some working. So, yeah, that's fine. I wish you would have had some, like, clips on the back where you could plug the guns into the back. I, I, I love that 90s look where, like, the, the two, you know, ridiculous cannons that he had were just hanging off the back of his, uh... You know, like swords for a nor swords for a normal character. So here's his head. Nice sculpt work, nice paint work all around. The scar on the eye looks good. The eye paint looks good. The metallic uh, sculpting on the other side of the face looks good. The hair sculpt looks good. All the paint everywhere is well applied and well done. Bravo. It's on a ball hinge, articulation-wise. It gets you up to there and still looks good. Down to there and still looks good. And then, of course, the swivel is intact. This is a new... I haven't seen it anyway. This piece here is a brand new sculpt. All this little, like, chainmail stuff is all sculpted. All the line work in there is sculpted. The chainmail is painted. Looks good. No real complaints. It does make the shoulders look like they may sit a little low but more so from the front than from the side, so it might actually be right. Uh, disc hinge shoulders get you all the way around, up to there. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist swivel and hinge in and out. Now with the guns, you know, gun wielding characters, I prefer up and down hinges. And it's the same on this side, in and out hinge. So that's a bit frustrating. This is uh, this this little scar there is painted well, the X scar, and then on the other side, um, all the rivets here are all sculpted, so that's nice. And then the armor on the hand is sculpted. Everything is painted fairly well. So what do you know? This is a ball joint, uh, which we don't see very often on male characters, but it works quite well. The swivels added there, also a waist swivel, which is a bit redundant, but I won't cry about it. And then you have this soft floating piece of plastic here, which gets you more pouches because you know what we need in life, especially in comment, comics, more pouches. And especially for a 90s character. So T-jointed ball joints get you out to there. The belt underneath this belt is also painted, I might add. Well done. Well done, Hasbro. And then you get the thigh swivel. Uh, also, the legs go up to there, so that's not an issue either. All the sculpting in the pants looks great. Uh, the pouches all look great. No real complaints. The armor on the legs looks great. Well done. Everything is clean. A little smudge there, but for the most part, everything is clean. Double jointed knees, they look good. And so does the paint on the, uh, the knee pad. That all looks good. Ankle tilt, not much up because of this armor here, but you do get a good back. And then the rocker is built in, so that's fine. The laces and all the little stuff, the details on the shoe, all sculpted. So, what more can you ask for over a $20 figure? Well done. Up next is the Phoenix. Now, this is the one that didn't really make sense for me with this set, but uh, we'll take her. Uh, the hair is well, really well painted. It's got tons of wash on there to give all sorts of details of the hair. The hair is, once again, this harder plastic, so it doesn't really sit naturally up against the back of the shoulders or anything. You can tell it's supposed to, but it doesn't. Um, it, and that's to allow for articulation, but it's just not my favorite way of, of, of doing business there. But anyway, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's certainly not the best. The face sculpt also looks a little strange, like a little skinny, a little anorexic, a little anorexic on the, on the side of things. Like, uh, you know, like she has, she could use to go to five guys or something. And then 
this is all painted on this like tampered paint and it looks it's sharp though it's sharp and clean the phoenix symbol and all that and like the black in the suit is all sharp and clean we got the ball hinge on the on the neck so it gets you down to there uh, but not much up due to the the hair and then the swivel gets you basically um, around but the hair then looks weird so that it's just a little strange ball hinge shoulder out to there no bicep swivel the paint is a line for the for the glove which isn't the best and then a hinge at the elbow single hinge which allows you a, a bicep swivel for the you know for lack of a bicep swivel wrist swivel and hinge out in and out same for the other side two posing hands which i think is, is the appropriate choice we got the sash uh which which is good and we have a diaphragm ball joint here uh which works pretty well i mean we've seen it before on this mold but at first it was it was a little stuck, but now it seems to be working just fine. T-jointed ball joints for hips, they get you out to there, up to there, so that's fine. The boots, once again, are not sculpted, they're just painted on. I hate when they do that, it just makes it look cheap. It would have looked nice if it was if it was like a sculpt line around there. I don't think it would have been too much work, and I think it would have been the right way to go. Um, so, and then the greens don't really match because this is the yellow plastic with green on it, but it is pretty, pretty close. Double jointed uh, knees, they get you to there, and then the ankle tilt a good up and a good back. And a, the, this is the not the best ankle rocker on this mold, but it does still work. It just it makes the figure have a hard time standing. the 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 muscle The muscle work in here is all really well sculpted, though I must say. So that's a that's a nice that's a nice additive. And Shadow Cat or Kitty Pride. She comes with Lockheed, which is a nice touch, and I would have been very disappointed had she not come with one. And he just curls around the back of her neck, and the, the, the tail kind of keeps him center. The only problem with, with this whole setup is that you have to have him on, on, a, on a particular side. Um, you can get his wing behind her head, uh, but you kind of got to work it in there, but it is possible. There you go. And then it kind of limits what you can do with her head because you can't look this way really because then she's blocked, she's blocking Lockheed so it's not bad and Lockheed himself is pretty cool the wings are on separate pieces and uh, uh, they are they're stuck I thought they moved there for a second the eyes are at least painted so that's nice she also comes with this which I believe you're supposed to use with onslaught uh, red onslaught but I think I am gonna drop it on the floor and then have to search for it while I'm recording and not find it, and then have to stop. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna see if it'll go on the 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 other the Sh Jubilee Wave Magneto, and because I I think that it always looked cool when his face was like shadowed out. You could just see his eyes through. So we'll see. As far as her, I like her a lot. The uh, the head is on a ball hinge up to there, which looks pretty good down to there which looks okay and then the swivel so that's good the face is all painted well and sculpted well the bangs are a separate piece glued in the hair tie could have been painted better this piece is glued in as well the ponytail looks good we have a uh, diaphragm joint here ball joint and it works really well and the x suit is all sculpted on uh, i can see myself picking up multiple figures of this for customs uh because it's like the X suit and you just add different heads and whatever and you can get a lot of female characters out of it. Uh, the belt is baggy and big and uh, it's a cool design. It's like, uh, you know, the two separate pieces with the X. It looks good. It's well done. I like it. Uh, the shoulders are ball hinges up to there, down to there. You get around. This is a softer plastic so you can get all the way around the suit. No bicep swivel, but you got the single hinged elbow getting you just close to 90 degrees with the swivel. And then the forearms, oh, I thought that, I thought that was going to be a separate piece, but it's not. It's actually a sculpted piece, or it's glued on. And then the wrist is swivels and hinges out and in. Same for this side. You get one posing hand, one fist hand. I'm okay with both those choices. Hips, T-jointed ball joints get you out to there, up to there, back to there. Thigh swivel works fine on both sides. Double jointed knee gets you the full Monty. The boots are painted on, which is not my favorite thing, as you well know by now. Ankles tilt down to there, up to there, which isn't great, and rock. This one is a little gummed up. It's not terrible. This one is a lot better. 
Um, but that's her overall, and, and you know, honestly, she's, she's well done. Simple, but effective. And lastly, we have uh, the man himself, Mr. Poole, and he comes with a ton of accessories. We're going to go through them. Uh, he comes with two handguns, uh, look like Desert Eagles to me. One goes in this holster here. You know, I like to be able to store my weapons, especially on a character like Deadpool. And one goes in this holster down here. The sculpts are identical. And then we have this knife. Fair enough. Everything's well done. The black is where it should be. The silver is where it should be, so no complaints there. He comes with these two laser cannons, which is not my favorite thing. I don't know if I'll be using them. But the pinky is sculpted to hold this one, so that is a nice touch. I do dig that. And then it's got this like grenade launcher type thing, which isn't... Um, I don't know. It's, it's fine, I guess. I'm kind of let down by those guns. I just don't like the choices, to be honest. And then we have the two swords. They don't fit in these things quite right. Like, I don't know. It, it doesn't give you warm and fuzzies. It seems like the, the swords want to go both out. You know, but like this this one in particular isn't really shaped that way. So I had to kind of jam mine in there, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Head sculpt is great. The black paint and white paint on it is also great, but they sculpted the little thing at the end. They sculpted the little seam lines that we kind of know of the character. So that's cool. Uh, ball hinge, get you back to there, down to there, and then the swivel. Uh, most of this is not sculpted, it's just painted on, so this is black plastic, the red is painted on, it's a little dodgy and it's a little sketchy in some places, but overall it's okay, and then the silver is also painted on, and the silver looks great, but uh, the red isn't, isn't always as great. We got this soft floating piece of plastic to hold the swords, I like it, think it adds texture, I wish it was a darker uh, brown, I don't, I don't, I don't know, uh, it, it, it Something's, it's like it's like the right color. It just makes this look cheaper than what it should be. But it's a it's a small nitpick. Ball hinge shoulders, and they're ratcheted, as you can hear, up to there, down to there, and then the swivel around. Bicep swivel. That's on red. That's on red plastic, and the black is painted on. The blacks don't bother me, really, and, and neither do the reds, to be quite honest. Uh, but there are some some paint mishaps, but overall it's pretty sharp on the arms. Double jointed elbow, getting you the full run. And then all this gauntlet stuff here is sculpted, but none of it's painted, so it's, it's okay though. And then a wrist swivel, hinge in and out, and he, then he holds his gun and, and, and whatnot, and that's cool. We have a couple more accessories we're going to talk about in a minute. I just want to get through the figure. Uh, articulation, same for the other side. We have a uh, ab crunch, gets you down to there. Up to there, the swords don't get in the way. We have this floating piece of belt here with the Deadpool thing sculpted on, the symbol sculpted on, and painted really well. Grenades are painted, which is nice. I feel like sometimes they don't do stuff like that, and it does look good. Throw a little silver on there, in service. T-jointed ball joints for hips get you out to there. Thigh swivel, that works fine. Double-jointed knee, that works fine. Calf swivel, which is stupid, but we've already decided that it's we're going to forgive it. This is the last time I'm going to mention it as a bad thing because what it's allowing them to do is add little independent sculpts and new things onto these molds to give them a little bit of individuality. So that's the last time I'm going to say it's dumb because they're actually using it to its benefit now. So good on them. Uh, for the red here, this is black plastic and the red is painted on and it's okay. Not the best, but it's okay. The red paint down here is done much better and the buckles on the boots are painted really well. Ankle tilt up to there, which is barely anything, back to there, which is good, and then an ankle rocker built in, and that works fine. He comes with three additional accessories. The bazooka with the with the punching glove on it, which is um, the boxing glove, rather. That's that's fine. You can take this off as well and just kind of have a straight bazooka. Uh, totally up to you, a bro. And then we have uh, this piece is a separate piece that's glued in, so that's cool. It's a pretty, and this so is this, it's a separate piece glued in. So it's all, it's all... It's, it's cool. It's gimmicky, but it's cool. Then we have the, uh, the, the the different face sculpt, and it's really well done. Like the paint, let me see if I can zoom in. It's worth zooming in on. 
the paint is like a, uh, it's because it has like the regular skin tone and then it has a wash on there. Forget my green thumb, I was mowing the grass this morning. And the teeth are painted really well. The sculpt is really sharp. I can't say enough good things about it. It's it's one of the best face sculpts I've seen. Now, granted, it, they have a little bit of leeway because it's supposed to be kind of monstrous, but it's still extremely well done. Outside of that, he also comes with his signature taco, uh, which is the meat and uh, lettuce are painted on, as well as, I think, some... No, I think that's just it, the meat and the lettuce. But it looks good. You know, I, I wouldn't have him display with it, but it's, it's a cool accessory. It's a smart idea. And then over here, we have X-Force to the left. You have to forgive me. I'm like standing up on a stool and holding a light and a camera. And then kind of like miscellaneous and then Excalibur in the middle. And then on the right, we have X-Factor. Uh, and then, of course... Uh, Phantom X, who is kind of spilling over from the miscellaneous. So, really need to fill out some of that, but really glad I got those. Final thoughts wise, overall, I could have done without the Phoenix. I would have much rather preferred an updated Jean Grey than a, than a Phoenix, and I think most people would have preferred that as well. But the cable is outstanding. The Deadpool is outstanding. The Kitty Pride is outstanding. So, bravo. Marvel Legends is the line to watch right now in, in the regular retail department. They are kicking taking names. I commend them for all of them. There's a few issues along the way. Mainly it's paint and little small stuff. It's not, it's not huge problems. Um, and even the paint problems are minuscule when you compare them to the paint problems of just last year. So I take my hat off to the people in this department right now. Well done. A good set. Looking forward to more. I'm pumped about the next set, which supposedly has a Shatterstar in it, because it, it, it gives me an opportunity to kind of flesh out my X-Force shelf. So, bring them on. Bring them on. My money's ready. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.